Greetings, Vincent family. Welcome to Wednesday. It is April 8th. Got my head around the date finally. And it is a beautiful afternoon here in Spring City. Uh, I hope you can hear me over the wind noise and I hope you have been able to get outside and enjoy some of the weather. Uh, I don't take it for granted, especially not now when we're ordered to stay at home. We're, we're still actually allowed to go outside and I'm very grateful for that. So I hope you take advantage of it. Tomorrow's looking to be a bit windier, but it should still be pretty nice. So uh, enjoy, enjoy while you can. Uh, as we come to Wednesday in, in Jesus' final days on earth, as he's still heading toward the cross. Now, when I say final days on earth, I know that after the resurrection, he comes back, he spends some time with the, uh, with the apostles and some others. <clears throat> so I just want to preface that. But in his final uh, week here before the cross, as we look in Wednesday, Wednesday is the quietest day of this week. Uh, we remember Sunday, Palm Sunday, the triumphal entry as it's also called, as he marches in on, on the donkey, well, the donkey marches him in, and the crowd is going wild and they're expecting this great release from this Messiah who's going to come and set things right. Uh, and then there are the other you know, hubbubs that we've seen over the past few days. Uh, but Wednesday is really quiet. In fact, if you're following along in the reading plan uh, that we sent out, Wednesday is the one day that it's kind of like, yeah, we're not really sure what happened on this particular day. Here's our best idea. And so as we look at the passages here uh, in Luke and also in, in the other Gospels, uh, Luke in the end of chapter 21, beginning at chapter 22, and then also in Matthew 26 and Mark 14, you'll see there's only a couple verses dedicated to, to Wednesday. There's not a lot going on. But as we, and, and, and it's important to, to know that that's okay, right? So even in, in Jesus' life, in, in this last week where there's so much building up, there is a down day. There is a quiet day. And as we move into tomorrow, tomorrow, Thursday, uh, is when the Last Supper happened. Friday is when he was taken and tried and beaten and crucified. And then things take off there. Now, Saturday is a quiet day as well, but it's not a light day. It's a heavy day for the apostles who have seen Jesus crucified, and for Mary, and for Martha, and for Lazarus, and for the others who have spent time with him. They're doubting and they're wondering, but we'll get to that. <laughs> so today, Wednesday, is a down day. It's kind of a quiet day. And I want to say that it's okay to have quiet days. Yesterday we talked about Jesus being on mission and not losing sight of the target of continuing on and pressing on despite all the opposition, despite the fact that his closest friends still didn't understand what he was doing. He presses on. And we see that again today. So as best as we can figure, and this is a great book. It's a little late to order it for uh, this year. It's called The Final Days of Jesus, and it's written by Andreas J. Kostenberger and Justin Taylor. So uh, I think you can find it on Amazon. Uh, it just breaks down the week by the scriptures and gives a little background of what's going on. So order it in time for next year. Good, good read through. Very simple. Um, but as we look at this, like I said, there are only a few verses that are dedicated to this. And this entire chapter in this book is all of, you know, this page, this picture, and then this. So there's not much going on. Um, but what we see is Jesus is staying on target. What we do see on this day, as best we can figure, uh, in Luke 21, at the very end, in verses 37 and 8, it says, Every day he was teaching in the temple, but at night he went out and lodged in the mount called Olivet, or the Mount of Olives, as we know it. Early in the morning, all the people came to him in the temple to hear him. So Jesus continues on every day. He shows up at the temple. Every day people are coming early to hear from him, to see him, to see what he might do next, to see what he's telling him, to see if he's going to overthrow Rome, or to see what he's speaking. And, and some are just leaning on his words of life, not even looking for the revolution, but looking for that life. The Jesus we've talked about many times, who bends down and picks up the outcast, who reaches out to the women pushed on the outskirts of society, the ones who are disease-stricken, the ones who are deemed to be cursed by God and thrown aside. Jesus reaches down, and these people continue to come for him. 
So if yesterday, when I kept saying Jesus was on mission, Jesus stayed on target, if you're wondering what that means, that's what it means. It doesn't mean we have to build big programs. It doesn't mean we have to do fancy things. It doesn't mean we have to be moving and building all the time. It means we have to continue to be Jesus. We continue to reach out to the lost. We continue to reach out to the near and the far. The near and the far to us that we have contact with. The near and the far from God who need building up and encouraging in this time. So stay on mission. Encourage those around you. Build up your family. Build up your friends near and far, online and in your living room. Continue to encourage each other so that when this time is over, and we go back to the new normal. We're stronger, we're better, and we're more ready to carry out the mission. And I think in this time, we really need to look at what is the mission. For all of us who are believers that are listening to this, for those of you who don't know yet what you think about Jesus or God in general, it's okay, take your time, come along for the journey. For those of us that have made the commitment to follow him, let's take time, let's take quiet days. Let's take quiet moments if we don't have quiet days to think, what are we doing? What is the mission of my life? Am I taking the time to evaluate it, to understand it, and to hold it open before God and say, God, am I on mission? Am I following you? Have I made you Lord of my life? So thank you, Vincent family, for tuning in and for staying with us. Continue to encourage, to lift up, to build one another up, and to stay on mission with Jesus and to take quiet days and quiet times and to enjoy them in his presence and with the presence of your loved ones. Thank you. Have a wonderful Wednesday.